Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Let us say together, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. And raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would harm him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Hear my cry, O God, and listen to my prayer. I call upon you from the ends ends of the earth earth, with heaviness in my heart. Set me upon the rock that is higher than I. I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. I I will dwell dwell in your house forever. forever. I will take refuge refuge under the the cover of your your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have granted me the heritage of those who fear your name. And And length of days in the king's life. Let his youth extend extend over many generations. generations. Let him sit enthroned before God forever. Bid love and faithfulness watch over him. So So will I always sing the praise of your name, name. and day by day day, I will fulfill 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 my vows. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit. as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Reading from the Gospel of Luke. At that time, there were some present who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. He asked them, do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they are worse sinners than other Galileans? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. Were those 18 who were killed when the Tower of Siloam fell on them, do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others living in Jerusalem? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all perish just as they did. Then he told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came looking for fruit on it and found none. So he said to the gardener, see here, for three years I have been coming for fruit on this fig tree, and still I find none. Cut it down. Why should it be wasting soil? He replied, sir, let it alone for one more year until I dig round and put manure on it. If it bears fruit next year, well and good. But if not, you can cut it down. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. One second. I found a reflection for 
election day. <clears throat> Today is election day. This is by Jake Whitfield. It's an extremely unique day in human experience. Voting is a practice of self-governance. Individuals are given the opportunity to determine how they wish to be ruled of all the regimes that have existed in the world. Few have permitted citizens to participate. Historically, this concept is new. Hold on. One more person is here. <laughs> okay. Presently, free and fair elections are rare. Whether you vote or not, be thankful that the opportunity exists in our country. But don't just vote for you, vote for our predecessors that have made this privilege possible. While voting is an individual right and privilege, it is also our duty. The voters should be voting for the good of society, not just themselves. The ideal voter is motivated not only by the love of themselves, but the desire of their self, of their individual well being, but a love of their fellow citizens and a desire for the collective well being. Don't just vote for you, vote for all of your fellow citizens. I'll let them in. And I think that that is what Christ teaches us anyway, right? That we're supposed to think of the good of the whole, not just what we want for ourselves. And that's enough to ponder today, I think. Please join me in the Apostles' Creed found on page two. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the last Amen. Amen. Loving God, creator of this world, who is our source of wisdom and understanding, Watch over this nation during this time of election. Help us to see how our faith informs our principles and actions. God, our creator. Guide us in truth and love. We give you thanks for the right to vote. Help us to hold this privilege and responsibility with the care and awareness it merits, realizing that our vote matters and it is an act of faith. God, our creator. Guide us. us in truth and love. Guide us through this election as a nation, state, and community as we vote for people to do work on our behalf and on the behalf of our communities. Help us to vote for people and ballot initiatives that will better our community and world so it may reflect the values Christ has taught us. God, our creator. Guide us in truth and love. And love. Help us create communities that will build your kingdom here on earth. Communities that will protect the poor, stand up for the vulnerable, advocate for those who are not seen and heard, and listen to everyone's voice. God, our creator. Guide us in truth and love. We pray for this nation that is deeply divided. May we come together for the common good and do as you have called us to do to act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you through creation. God, our creator. Guide us in truth and love. Help us to act out love, mercy, and justice rather than out of arrogance or fear. God, our creator. Guide us in truth and love. Lord, continue to guide us as we work for the welfare of the world. We pray for places that are torn by violence, that they may know peace. God, our creator. 
guide us, guide us truth and love. We pray for communities who are struggling with inequity, unrest, and fear. May we all work towards reconciliation with one another and with God. God, our creator. Guide us in truth and love. Help us to listen in love, work together in peace, and collaborate with one another as we seek the betterment of our community and world. God, our creator. Guide us in truth and love. We pray especially for those who have committed themselves to our prayers. Hank, Peter, Bob, Joe, Nina, Shirley, Mark, Ronaldo, Charles, Carolina, Pam, Kyle, MB, Carol, Marion, Clay, Kai, Frank, Mark, Michael, Kimberly, Tina, Carol, Sue D, Michael F, Ilsa, Carolyn, Todd, Debbie, Lynn, Carol, Sue B, Mary, the people of St. Joseph's and Queens Village, and all the residents affected by the wildfires in California and Colorado. We pray for our frontline workers, Dr. Elizabeth Engelman, Dr. Dan Griffin, Dr. Jeff Kurowski, Dr. Rachel Simpson, Karen Liu, Eva Longmire, Brenda Marshall, Susan Dietz Massengill, and all first responders who are currently battling the wildfires. And we pray for all who have died, especially William Moe. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. And now at this time, I invite you to add any prayers you wish to add, silently or aloud. May there be no violence tonight. In the city or down in DC or anywhere. The Lord be with you. And also with you. With you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, it is only by your gift that your faithful people offer you true and laudable service. Grant that we may run without stumbling to obtain your heavenly promises through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease, that our divisions may be healed, and we may live in justice and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, to whom we must account for all our powers and privileges, guide the people of the United States in the election of officials and representatives 
that by faithful administration and wise laws, the rights of all may be protected and our nation be enabled to fulfill your purposes. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord God Almighty, who has made all the peoples of the earth for your glory, to serve you in freedom and peace, give to the people of our land a zeal for justice and strength of forbearance, that we may use our liberties in accordance with your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us this good land as our heritage, we humbly beseech you that we may always prove ourselves to be mindful of thy favor and glad to do your will. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure manners. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion from pride and arrogance and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united people, the multitudes brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues. Endue with the spirit of wisdom, those to one united people, the multitudes brought. Oh, I already said that part. Endue with the spirit of wisdom to those who in thy name, we entrust the authority of government, that there may be justice and peace at home and that through obedience to the law, we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth. In a time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thankfulness, and in the day of trouble, suffer not our trust in thee to fail, all which we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we'll pray together. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you, bless you for, for our creation, creation preservation, and all the, and all the blessings of this life. life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world, the world by your Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. For the means of grace, grace and the hope of the glory. glory. And, and we pray, pray give us such, such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we, show we may show forth your praise, praise. Not, not only with our lips, lips but in our lives. lives. By, by giving up ourselves, ourselves to your service, and by, and by walking, walking before, before you in holiness and righteousness, and righteousness all, our all our days. Through Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord, Lord to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit be honor, and, honor glory and glory throughout all, all ages. ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace, grace at this time with one accord, accord to make our common supplication, supplication to you. And you, and you have promised through your, well your well-beloved Son, Son that when two or two three, or three are gathered together, together in his name, you mm-hmm. will be in the midst of them. them. Fulfill we'll now, Lord, our, our desires and petitions, petitions as may be best for us, for us. Right. granting Grant us, us in this world knowledge of your truth, truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Now let us go forth into the world, rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Mother Lauren. Thank you. Thank you.